Today we take a look at Zechariah chapter 11, and it's God, well, he's sending judgment once again from the north through Lebanon down into Israel. And he specifically wants to deal with the leadership. Open your doors, O Lebanon, that fire may devour your cedars. Wail, O cypress, for the cedars have fallen because of mighty trees are ruined. Wail, oaks of Bashan, for the thick forest has come down. There is a sound of wailing shepherds, for their glory is in ruins. There is the sound of roaring lions, for the pride of the Jordan is in ruins. So God is coming, he's dealing with Israel, and he's given warning, he's, he's telling those who are above them that God's bringing down the enemy to deal with those who have, well, who haven't done their job. And then he says this towards the end of the passage, Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock. A sword shall be against his arm and his right eye. His arm shall completely wither and his right eye shall be totally blinded. The arm and the eye. In the scripture, they're symbolic. The arm is a symbol of strength. They used to be strong in the Lord. They used to be strong in their leadership. They used to be powerful in the things they did for the Lord. But now, well, because they didn't follow him, because they didn't listen to him, they've lost their strength. And this is true in my life and your life. When we walk away, when we disobey, when we find ourselves not living in the spirit, but in the flesh, we grow weak. Weak in our ability to stand against the enemy, weak in our ability to kind of walk the Christian life. We get, well, we get attacked by the flesh, the world and the devil. And then he mentions, the right eye shall be totally blind. And the eye is a symbol in the scripture of wisdom where you can see and understand and look ahead and plan, well, they've lost their wisdom. And wisdom, true wisdom on how to live, how to walk, and how to do those things that honor and glorify God and make life worth living, well, it comes from wisdom from the Lord, not from the things the world tells you or the enemy tries to place in front of you. So here's what he's saying, judgment is coming. He warns, and God always gives us warnings when we start to stray. And then he tells them, you're gonna lose your strength and your wisdom because you've turned your back on the Lord. Don't lose your strength. Don't lose your wisdom. Trust in the Lord and follow him. He knows what's best. Let me encourage you today to seek him for wisdom and to seek him for strength.